On Jaguar machines, there are several adjustments that we can make to the feed rollers. One of the areas of adjustment are our plastic strips on our top front feed roller. These plastic strips from factory are fitted, but we have a couple of options we can do with these depending on what crop we are harvesting. So for our grass on our whole crop, these plastic strips should always remain fitted. The reason behind this is the plastic strips help to improve the detection rate of the stone detector. So if you do get a stone in, there isn't as big an area for the stone to sit in that could potentially skip through the stone detector. Whenever we move to crops such as maize, we can then remove these plastic strips. And what this allows us to do is get better traction from this top roller whenever we're feeding in our maize crop. Whenever you are feeding in maize, obviously stubble lengths are that bit longer, so the intake of stones is not as much of a problem. But under no circumstances should we run in whole crop or grass without these plastics fitted. For maize harvesting, the machine comes standard with a set of serrated wire bars. As mentioned previously, whenever the plastics are removed and the serrated wire bars are fitted, this will give us extra traction when harvesting crops such as maize. When harvesting crops such as grass, we can then replace the serrated wire bars that are fitted as standard with smooth wire bars. These smooth wire bars are better suited to harvesting grass as they will reduce the likelihood of grass getting wrapped around the feed rollers. Moving on to our bottom feed roller and adjustments we can make with it. We can see here our extra wear strips have been fitted to the bottom roller. In this position here, they are best suited to harvesting maize with the serrated side out. Similar to the top roller, if you want to harvest grass and you want to reduce the chance of wrapping around the feed rollers, these wear strips can be unbolted turned around 180 degrees and use the smooth side instead. That will then help us to feed our grass crop in but reduce our wrapping down to a minimum. The final adjustment we can make to our feed rollers is our grain collection plate. Now this grain collection plate will come not fitted from the factory and is usually stored in the maintenance area. So whenever you're harvesting crops such as grass and not so ripe whole crop, this grain collection plate should be left off. This just allows any debris you don't want collected into the sample to be exited from the machine, especially in your grass crop, whenever you've got a bit of chaff, um, you don't want the chaff building up in the feed roller area. Whenever you move on to whole crop that is then at a ripe stage and you're likely to lose grain, or if you're harvesting maize, and you want to keep as many kernels in the machine as possible, this grain collection plate can then be fitted. Nice and simple process. We want to slot the grain collection plate between this bar and the bottom feed roller. So we simply slide it in, right round, and then secure it with our two mounting bolts. Now this is the same in both Jaguar 800 and Jaguar 900 machines with the only difference in the grain collection plate being the shape. One other thing to point out for the Jaguar 900 machines, there will also be two side plates and these are used to close off the outside edges of the feed roller to stop grain being lost from that position. Thankfully on the Jaguar 800 machines, these are not required. On Jaguar 900 machines, when fitting the grain collection plate, we have these extra pieces to fit on the side of the feed rollers. Nice and simple process. They just close off the area where the feed roller is open and bolt onto the existing bolting points. There's one for each side.